This lecture is entitled The Binomial Distributions Advanced and What Do They Look Like? This is actually Lecture 5 in Module 3. The goal of this lesson will be to give you some feel for what a binomial distribution looks like when you graph the various trials. You'll recall this little ugly diagram from our previous life when we finished Lecture 4. In this diagram, we had a mean of mu, and we had standard deviations. We flipped a coin seven times, and we looked at the uh, possibility of getting no heads, one head, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. You will recall that in that lecture, I told you that the mean of the distribution is equal to p, the probability of success times the number of trials, or 0 0.5 times 7. Therefore, the mean of this distribution is 3.5. The standard deviation is the square root of n, which is the number of trials, times p, which is the probability of success, and q, which is the probability of failure. Now, I went ahead and plugged those in because it's 7. p is 0.5. q is 0.5. Turns out to be the square root of 1.75 or 1.32. So the mean of this distribution is 3.5. It has a standard deviation of 1.32. That should be of interest to you. Now, as long as p is equal to 50%, what we wind up with is what will look very much like a normal distribution, which is equally uh, distributed around mu. But suppose p is less than 0.5. Well, what that will do is move p way back down, move back down to the left, and it'll turn out that you have more a curve which is shifted to the left in the probability of things happening. If p is greater than 0.5, then it will move mu out to the right, which will make your curve shift to the right. So, you know, we've got some really neat things that we've discovered here. We've got a sense of, a, of the distribution of binomial trials we can see that if p equals 50%, it's going to be very close to normally distributed. As p gets way less than 50, then it ends up being kind of skewed to the left and p way greater than 5 skewed to the right. This is interesting stuff, isn't it? I wanted to take just a minute to encourage you. You've done well, Pilgrim, to come so far with so much hair with so many after it. Consider what you've done. You set out in terms and concepts you were talking then about things like population and samples and moves and sigmas and x bars and s's and on and on and on and on and random and types of data and blah blah blah. Then we met the normal distribution curve. And working with the normal distribution curve, you had to learn how to calculate areas under that curve. Now we're building some terminology for a binomial distribution. You're climbing Waller's Ladder. Now, I could just almost make into spontaneous song here in order to encourage you. Every round goes higher, higher. And you could say, we are climbing Waller's Ladder. Every round goes higher, higher. You might break into a song that uh, this class is not my home. I'm just a passing through. My graduation's laid up somewhere beyond the blue. Well, get in here, go to work, master this stuff, and you'll do well. One day you'll live to tell the terrible story to those who follow after you. Remember, the dog loves you.